sixth grade module three lesson seven problem set in the table below list the set of list each set of rational numbers in order from least to greatest then list their opposites finally list the opposites in order from least to greatest the first has been completed for you so let's go to the second one so we're going to order one fourth and negative one half from least to greatest so if we had a number line and here's zero one fourth would be over here, maybe negative one half might be like right there. So negative one half is smaller because it's to the left of zero than one fourth. So if we list those order in, in order from least to greatest, then if we find their opposites, the opposite of negative one half would be one half. The opposite of one fourth would be negative one fourth. And now on our number line, if I were to plot negative or plot one half, one half would be over here, and negative one fourth would be about right there. So now their order has flipped. So in order from least to greatest, we'd have negative one fourth and then one half. For the next one. We have 2 and negative 10. So we have 0. And then 2 might be like right there. Negative 10 all the way down here. So in order from least to greatest, we would have negative 10 and 2. Their opposites would be 10 and negative 2. So then if we wanted to order the opposites from least to greatest, let's find 10. So 10 would be down here and negative 2 would be there so now again the order is flipped so we have negative 2 and 10 0 and 3 and a half so I'm gonna move on from the number line and just see if we can do it without the number line so 0 is less than 3 and a half so if I were to order them we have 0 3 and a half the opposites would be 0 because the opposite of 0 is 0 and negative 3 and a half now negative 3 and a half is smaller than zero. Negative five and negative five and six tenths. So this one I think I am gonna draw a number line for. Okay, so we have negative five and negative five and six tenths. So this would be negative one, two, three, four, negative five. So there's negative six. Negative five and six tenths would be somewhere cut a little bit closer to six than negative five. So negative five and six tenths is less than negative five. They're opposites would be 5 and 6 tenths and 5. So then when we op order, the op order those opposites, 5 and 6 tenths and 5, they're going to be over here on the number line. So 5 would be right there. If we then had 6 here, 5 and 6 tenths would be about right there. Twenty-four and a half and 24. So least to greatest, 24 is less than 24 and a half. Their opposites would be negative 24, negative 24 and a half. And if we were to list those in order from least to greatest, negative 24 and a half would be less than, it's further away from zero than if we plotted negative 24. Negative 99 and 9 tenths, negative 100. So from least to greatest, so negative 100. Let's draw a number line real fast. If we had 0, here's negative 100. Negative 99.9 .9 would be right here next to it. So negative 100 is further from 0, so it's actually smaller than negative 99 and 9 tenths. Their opposites 
would be positive 100 and positive 99 and 9 tenths. So then if we ordered those from least to greatest, 99 and 9 tenths is less than 100. Negative 5 hundredths and negative 5 tenths. So this is another one. I'm just going to keep this uh, same line graph. So negative, let me just put negative 1. Let's forget that's over there. So we have 0 and negative 1. We want to plot, I'm going to plot negative 5 tenths first because it's going to be right in the middle. Negative 5 hundredths is barely past 0 because that's like comparing 5 cents and 50 cents. We could put a 0 there if that helps. So 5 cents is a lot less or a lot smaller than 50 cents. So we only go back a little bit from 0. So negative 5 tenths right here is further away from 0 or smaller than negative 5 hundredths. Their opposites would be 5 tenths and 5 hundredths. And then if we were to list those from least to greatest, now they're going to flip order. Because if we have 1 here, here's 5 tenths, here's 5 hundredths. So 5 hundredths is smaller than 5 tenths. Negative 7 tenths and 0. So negative 7 tenths is less than 0. Their opposites would be 7 tenths and 0. And then if we were to list those from least to greatest, so now that 7 tenths is positive, we would have 0 is smaller than 7 tenths. And then 100 and 2 hundredths and 100 and 4 hundredths. So here, if we're looking at these two numbers without the number line, I know that 100 and 2 hundredths is less than 100 and 4 hundredths. Because all we really need to compare here is the 2 hundredths and the 4 hundredths, since they're positive, and 2 hundredths is less than 4 hundredths. So then their opposites would be negative 100 and 2 hundredths and negative 100 and 4 hundredths. So then if we were to plot those, now negative 100 and 4 hundredths would be smaller than negative 100 and 2 hundredths because negative 100 and 4 hundredths is going to be further from 0, so further away from 0 than negative 100 and 2 hundredths. Number two, for each row, what pattern do you notice between the numbers in the second and fourth columns? Why is this so? So in the second and fourth columns, what do we notice? So we have negative 7 and 2, 25 hundredths, negative 7 and 1 tenth. Then we have 7 and 1 tenth and 7 and 25 hundredths. So it looks like they're opposites, but not only are they opposites, but they switched order. Let's see if that carries out through the next ones too. So we would be looking for they switched order and they are the opposites. So they are. They did switch order. Instead of negative one half first, we have negative one fourth, and then we have one half instead of negative one half. So we can say the second and fourth columns are opposites and they switched order. So the reason for that and kind of how we were showing on the number line is that when we're plotting to the left of 0, the numbers further away from 0 are smaller. Whereas when we plot to the right of 0, the numbers, the further you get away from 0, the larger the number is. So when we flip them and find their opposites, they're getting either smaller or larger based on what number we started with. So we can say on the number line,
as we move to the right, numbers increase. And as you move to the left, numbers decrease. As you move to the left, numbers decrease. So then you could give an example or you could just leave it at that. That is all.